I don't like bragging, but from other people, I think yes. I think I'm pretty good. Um, my name is Julian Alexander Sandoval Kodoshka, and my age is 11. And I, what I do is play soccer as a hobby, and I wish I could make soccer as a living and my career. Well, first time I realized I liked soccer was when I was like three. When I was three, and once I started playing, or like my first soccer game, I was happy and excited. I saw this video where I was, where I, where my dad passed the ball to me. I grabbed the ball, and then I dropped it and I kicked it, and then I just saw myself smile and running towards the ball and grabbed it and again and kicked it. So I just could tell that I was happy and enjoying playing with the ball. My mom is from Argentina, Buenos Aires. My dad's from Tepi, Mexico, Tepi, and my sister, she, her name's Ajalyn Sforni, and she is from Argentina. And then I'm from America here, California, and I was born in Riverside, uh, Kaiser, Permanente. <laughs> yeah, it does, like, their, their countries do love soccer, and so it influenced me to be better at soccer. I just try to be the best like half Mexican, half Argentinian player. The time I was on TV was when I was seven or six. I don't really remember. But uh, my mom told me to watch this video with her in, in, their bed in her pe bedroom. And I watched the video and then I was on TV. I was amazed and excited to see. It. And they called me Little Messi. My idol is Antonio Griezmann because He's small and I'm small, but at the same time, he's really good. I'm 4'6 and I weigh 60 pounds. I thought I was really good at that time. Like, when I saw myself on TV, I was like, I must be pretty good. I actually have many problems with my height because um, we like play against teams and my coach assumes that I won't be able to take the strength of the other teams because they're taller than me. So they take me out, and this happens to me all the time in every team, but they take me out and they put me in for like a larger person. And one time we were playing a game and, or a match and then they took me out and they put in a defender for, for a forward and the defender didn't know how to play forward but they put him in because he was taller. People were calling me good, and I realized that if I keep on playing good, other teams might see me and they might scout me. I think I've overcome it, but I'm not really certain about it because they haven't been taking me out lately. My parents are basically my fans and my family. My mom is the one that makes the videos and edits the games and gets all the best plays I do and all the goals. And she edits it into one one minute video and she puts it on Instagram. The coronavirus impacted me a whole lot because now I just can't play soccer, just can't have fun now. And then it's just boring in, inside the house for like many days. Like we, whenever we get stuff from the mail, we have to like, we have to like do like a whole sanitary thing and whenever we come from like another store or from a store we have to take off our our clothes and then we have to we have to like put them on a washing machine and then and then get our other clothes from the restroom and uh, change and then wash our hands so it's like it's like a new routine and a new life and I'll stay in the house for a lot and and just when my parents come from different stores, I'll just stay like 10 feet, of, 10 feet of, apart from them when they come home. My parents let me play video games, but like they don't let me play for like cons consistently. When I play FIFA, it, FIFA, it, it sometimes gives me a learning tool because I do a pass and there's a pass that I didn't realize and it just and made, it like helps me analyze the game more. My parents say that it, it hurts my brain and it makes me dumb. 
<laughs> I think that, well, individual skill is good, but at the same time, teamwork is better. Because if one person is the foundation of the team, and that imagine that person gets injured, then the team just will fall apart. But if the whole team is the foundation, and one or two people get injured and they can't play, the team will still it will still stay up, uh, still they'll still stay um, formed and they'll still still stay good and determined to win. But if it's just one person, like like a quote I used to uh, say sometimes is that a team of seven is better than a team of one. We we can all work with each other like. We can all work like to be clean and to be sanitary and to not like cough everywhere and sneeze everywhere. And I think that's like a way we can all work with each other to stop the coronavirus. Just stay safe and be sanitary. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> I barely remembered this, but like when I was five, I think, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs>